Looks like both men are struggling to get up. Woody just fell in the ring there. A piece of gold. Gold knuckles fell into the ring. Gold, what's in the ring? Oh, my Lord. And now we've got something else into the ring. Officiating the officials distracted. Oh, Trent Bronson wow. just ate it. Wow, what a maneuver. Blitz what a maneuver. Finding a way. Nobody home. Chest up against the turnbuckle. Odin looking. The pig and ball is him down. Wow. Going for a pinfall. He got him. for the trailblazer Dusty Williams as this will be his toughest test yet in CCW. Now, I want to hate this guy, but he just, there's something about him. Something about I like him. You can't hate the trailblazer. He's been through it all. He's worked to get to this stage, and by God, he's here. I think it's how hard he beat his opponent in the first round. That was impressive. That was genuinely impressive. Let's it see how really he does was. against Cody Knight, though. Cody Knight's a completely different story. And as we stated, an absolute test for the trailblazer Dusty Williams as he's standing in front of his biggest opponent yet. Now, did you hear that? He said, you play with fire, you get burned. I respect that. I like that. Well, it didn't, uh, it didn't make Chris Turner respect anything as he's talking to the fans about it. Dusty Williams showing a lot of strength here. Oh, but Cody Knight is going to show a little bit more. That wasn't strength. That was pure veteran instinct. He knew how to reverse that headlock. Uh-oh, left hand from Dusty as he tries to reverse one of his own. Oh, down goes Dusty Williams. Wow, that was, did you see the impact on that? Quite the impact. Cody Knight, over the top goes Dusty Williams. Trying for the trip. Spear, spear, spear. And here comes Cody, or here comes Chris. Wow, wow. Dusty Williams has knocked out Chris Turner cold here ringside. Oh, Lord. Wow. Cody Knight's over here still in our water, of course. You got it, buddy. You got it. They didn't tell me who I was wrestling this round. This doesn't even feel fair. It doesn't count. You were just, it was a warm-up. It was a warm-up round. Warm-up round. Who is this kid? Hey, cut it out over here. Cody Knight over here ringside. He's drank more water than he's wrestled today. And that's our water, Frankie. Well, no, that's Frankie Morris's water. That's actually made in my private well. 
Um, only certain people are allowed to have Frankie Morris as well. I'd, I'd give Cody Knight that pass. He didn't ask. I'm a little, I'm a little salty about that. Crowd absolutely wild here at Stomping Ground Studio, trying to get behind the trailblazer, Dusty Williams, as he just ate one there. Wow. Massive chop from Cody Knight. Sending him right into the turnbuckle as hard as all get out. Down goes Dusty Williams being helped back up. Uh-oh, reversal. A reversal. And another reversal, Cody Knight. Trying to get Dusty up. Ooh, after a little bit of a struggle, he just showed that muscle. Uh-oh, a cocky attempt of a pin there and a near fall at two. I like the cockiness, I like the posture, but sometimes when you get your opponent down like that, you need to pin their shoulders. You can't just do that. Dusty in a world of trouble. Ay, ay, ay. There you go, there you go, there you go. Now that's a great self-defense technique from Cody Knight. All in self-defense. Great professional wrestling. Yeah, you would know quite um, the history of self-defense. And the expertise you have there is a right hand from Cody Knight. Sends Dusty Williams to the bottom rope and now onto the canvas. Referee trying to get some control into the ring as Cody Knight lets go. Taking advantage of the entire four count. I don't know why more wrestlers don't do that. You get, you can wait till four. You can hold it the whole time. Oh, Victus is over here ringside. Keep an eye on him, Frankie. All right, this is it. <laughs> All right, okay. Quite a large individual. I'm a Definitely don't want to get on his bad side. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 Lord have mercy. Dusty Williams looking to do it again. And another one down goes Cody Knight. Cody Knight needs to roll out of the ring. He needs to get out of Dodge. Oh, oh and there drop. we go. There we go. Not quite out of the ring, but that was good. That was good enough. What a what a roar from these fans here in Stomping Ground Studio. Standing room only here tonight. And I think Cody Knight's just running off adrenaline after those two slams. Oh, here goes a sidewalk slam from Cody Knight. Oh, and a slam of his own. Going for a pinfall. This could be it for Dusty Williams. And a near fall at two. What wow. resilience from Dusty Williams, am I right? I don't want to like him, but he's got guts. He's got guts. Kicking out of a sidewalk slam from a guy like Cody Knight, that takes guts. That takes strength. That takes determination. He might know a little thing about self-defense. Oh, he uh, needed it there. Yeah, no, 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 no. He's already breaking rules one through 87 of Frankie Morris's self-defense tape series. Dusty Williams trying to hold on here. Cody Knight working that left arm. Oh my! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I heard that one in St. Augustine. Oh Lord! Nice right foot into the the throat area of Dusty Williams as he's gasping for breath. Now you see that move right there, you get to show off your legs, you get to show off all the working out you've been doing with the lower body, and you get to inflict damage on your opponent. It's really a win-win. Crowd trying to get behind Dusty Williams here. Dusty Williams still able to speak after having his throat damaged that much. That's very impressive. Both men locked up, tied up in the center here. Chris Turner trying to get behind Cody Knight. He's in trouble. All right, Dusty has the headlock. That's... Definitely Boy, hasn't been light work for Cody Knight here tonight. The crowd saying break it. Wow. Can you believe that? You'd be that violent? Into our nearest turnbuckle here. Nobody home for Dusty Williams. Ooh. Shoulder into the turn or into the, uh, the steel post here ringside. Oh, oh no. no. Looking for the Kodiak slam. Oh, Lord. This is it, Frankie. Beautiful. Good night. Wow. Wow. The LSC Destroyer, Cody Knight. I will say, Frankie, even in defeat, what an impressive showing for the newcomer, Trailblazer Dusty Williams. This guy's got a lot of potential. I got to admit it. I got to admit it. I didn't want to like him. I still don't like his glasses or his stupid ring gear, but uh, you know. But what a competitor he is. Cody Knight, victorious. Yeah, good Over job, Dusty buddy. Williams. Hello, wrestling fans. Jimmy Rosendorf here alongside the CCW heavyweight champion, 
the machine, Bryce Maddox. Bryce just came off a very hard fought victory over Bone Crusher at the Surge Summer Sizzler Tour in Palatka. Bone Crusher really did a lot of damage to your shoulder during that match. Even though you came out with the victory and the championship, how was your shoulder feeling? I'm not gonna lie to you, Jimmy. It's a little banged up. You know, I definitely feel it, but just like anything, you gotta keep going. And it's nothing I haven't faced before. Any sport I've played, you're gonna get hurt. I'm on it with the rehab, I'm in the gym, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. And Bone Crusher, he was as tough as I knew he was gonna be. You know, that was not an easy victory, but I managed to make it out on top. And now I have to shift my focus towards a, a tough opponent, yeah. a very serious opponent, Cody Knight. Cody Knight, as you know, he's been undefeated for what, well over a over year Over a now. year at this point, yeah. Over a year. But that doesn't change the game plan. Clear, reload, target. Cody Knight on May 13th in Blackshear, Georgia, I will be ready for you. My shoulder will be ready for you. This title will be there. May 13th, Cody, be ready. The challenges don't get any easier for the machine, Bryce Maddox. Coming off Bone Crusher, now going straight into a match with the Alaskan Destroyer, Cody Knight, May 13th, Blackshear, Georgia. <laughs> The next match in this tournament, introducing first, the current Southern States Champion, escorted by Brian Blitz. This is the violent gentleman, Miles Blackwell. Good job last round, gentlemen. Good job. See, what a classy guy. Showing respect to the Southern States Championship. It sounds like you're quite the favorite in your return here at CCW, Frankie. Oh. Multiple guys from the back coming here ringside to congratulate you on your return. Well, everybody respects a former world heavyweight tag team champion. I mean, it's hard not to. Did you see the jacket I came out in? That's a $250 jacket. I don't know if you've ever spent $250 on a jacket. Well, Brian Bliss just definitely told me again how he feels about me. He's not a fan of uh, Steve Dalton. That is for sure. Well, Steve, I see that you're trying your hardest. I think maybe maybe you haven't been put in enough self-defense situations. Maybe you just can't experience what these guys know about in the ring. Brian Blitz has been in the ring before. And here we go. The winner making their way to the Rule of the Ring final. Who do you see coming on top of this one? Uh, this one, this one might be a little bit difficult for me to to predict. But this this guy, this Miles Blackwell, he just he's a proper professional wrestler. He's a proper professional wrestler. That finishing move he used in the last match for the right hand, that was a very clean, pretty right hand. Might have been something attached to the right hand, but it was a nice right hand. Both men. Or it looks like Miles Blackwell actually in a little bit of control wow. here. Wow! Now Odin Davenport flipping and flipping around with an arm drag. Crowd behind Odin Davenport as always. Miles Blackwell asking for a hair pull, so is Brian Blitz, but we don't see one here ringside. I mean, I think I saw I, I saw him reaching towards it. I don't know if he quite got it, but he was definitely he was looking to cheat. Well, it wouldn't be a hard task with all the hair on the face and the, the head of the, mild, uh, the violent gentleman. Beautiful snapmare. Uh, 
Now these two gentlemen doing some beautiful professional wrestling. Both men just seemingly trying to get in control and both men reversing it. Now that's a smart move. Let me get you the ropes. You got the upper hand. Now we reset. The ropes will set you free here in professional wrestling. Brian Blitz working on Odin Davenport here as he does with every opponent the violent gentleman uh, is up against. With a poke in the eye missed by the official. There was no there was no poke in the eye. If the ref doesn't call, it's not a poke in the eye. He probably just slapped him in the face or something. Maybe you're right. Maybe he just had something in his eye and he had to help him get it out. But whatever it was, it didn't look legal to me. Left uppercut. Down goes Odin Davenport. Miles Blackwell control early on in this semifinal match of the Rule of the Ring tournament. Miles looking for a suplex. Beautiful one indeed. That's a very nice suplex. Very nice. Uh, look at Miles Blackwell. Despicable cover there. And I'll tell you what, you haven't damaged your opponent enough to be that cocky. You need to damage him a little bit more. Maybe then you could have won with a pinfall like that. There we go. That's what you need to do. Good job. Cranking on that left arm. He could break it here. Oh, Lord. Look now working on the right one. Oh, my Lord. And now going back to those fingers. Oh, Lord. And we, saw, we saw this in his last matchup. Like I said, this is something specific to professional wrestling is the joint manipulation, small joint manipulation. You I never will say any other sport. Odin Davenport's going to need an orthopedic surgeon on Monday morning or at least a visit to one. As he breaks free, but that left arm is definitely damaged. But he uses the right one to send Miles Blackwell down to the canvas. Beautiful left hand, and Miles Blackwell is going to take a little break on the outside here. Now, see, that was a closed hand punch. I don't think an Uben Davenport should be able to do that, right? The ref probably should have called that right there, disqualification. Right? Maybe so. But it looks like Brian Blitz is going to give uh, Miles Blackwell, his client, a coaching moment here ringside. Oh, but you can't count the three? You can't count Official up to six here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Both men now out as Miles Blackwell gets himself back in. <laughs> oh, super! Wow! Davenport. Wow! Going for a pin here. And a count of one. Odin Davenport still a got some fight count. left in him. You know what I think's happening? I think he's hearing Brian Blitz count, and he's saying, no, 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 no. I'm not even going to let you count the three. Brian Blitz would make a great official in his mind. Oh, my Lord, the nose being stretched into the brain cavity. Oh, my Lord, that's got to hurt. That might help the sinuses here with all this pollen here. Odin working his way back to his feet. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Lord. That one could have took his beard off. A roll up here. Shoulders are down. Oh, Lord. Oh, and a near oh, fall at two. So close. And another, another one. Up. Oh. Wow. He fooled him. He went for a reversal. And he just reversed his own reversal. Beautiful from Miles Blackwell. That's one of Frankie Morris's self-defense tips. It's almost like he has one of my tapes. That's in tape number 49. Uh, you know, distraction. I'm going to look like I'm going to hit you with one move, but I'm going to hit you with a different one. Beautiful. Right. Miles working his way to the top rope here. Head nearing the rafters. As he looks down on Odin Davenport. You better not Crowd go too speech was here. And a beautiful elbow from the top. Odin crawling his way out, trying to get out. As he, well, he does ring. make it. I heard, I heard quite a landing there. It didn't sound too great on a dab Splattered on this concrete floor here. Definitely not a comfortable landing. Oh, here we go. Brian Blitz here ringside. Really putting on Odin Davenport. What's Brian Blitz doing? I'm busy watching. The official being distracted by Miles Blackwell and Distract Brian Blitz taking advantage of it. He's not in the match, but he's in the match, so that means he's doing the right thing by paying attention to the participant. And why would he pay attention to this guy? Blitz is despicable. Okay. This is a, a weekly occurrence here on Surge. 
I think Brian Blitz is a winner, and I think his clients are winners, and that's probably what we're going to see here soon. Well, I'll agree with you. His client's a winner. Right uppercut. Now right hand missing. Odin Davenport, beautiful reversal. Maybe I spoke too soon. That was quite the maneuver. The back spring elbow. Both men down and struggling. Count to four now. We gotta have a winner in this match, correct? Let's see, where are we at in the tournament? Uh, yes, yes, we definitely need a winner. Right hand down goes Miles Blackwell. Odin Davenport trying to get him back up for more. Oh, that's cheap. That's very cheap. Uh oh! Odin Davenport trying to make it to the finals. And a near fall at two. Brian Blitz up here on the apron. Oh, it looks like Davenport. Face to face with Davenport. Hey, now he shouldn't have his hands on him. He's not a participant in the match. Oh, nobody home. Violent gentleman caught him. Wow. Wow, those headbutts. That's a risky maneuver doing a headbutt. You might do just as much damage to yourself as your opponent. Oh, this could be it. It usually is. Reversal. Wow, wow, wow. No, no, no. Do we got a roll up here? Oh, wow, what? Blackwell's got him. Shoulders on the way down, and they're down. And he got him. The winner of this match, you can see it's put on the The winner of this match, and advancing for the honor of the way of the ring, the violent gentleman, Miles Blackwell. I can't lie, CCW Universe, I did see the... Well, I'm sure you didn't see it, Frankie, but we saw what Brian Blitz did here at ringside, and his client gets away again. See, you missed it. I was just saying I actually saw that one, and what I was going to say is the ref didn't, so it's completely legal. It's fine.